Hi everyone, we're back, and the topic for discussion today is bones, muscles, and joints. Doesn't sound very exciting, does it? But we'll do the best we can to make it come alive. Here is Tim going for his morning run, and he is in fact using muscles, bones, and joints. I've given you an example of his thigh muscles, the femur, the knee joint, the synovial joint, and the tibia and the fibula further down his leg. Well, first of all, the human body is probably made up of 200 bones or more. Some say more, some say 200, I say 200 or more. And it all comes together to make up what is called the skeletal system, which has a very important job to do. It like Let's take the example of the skull, it protects the brain. Let's take the ribs, they protect the lungs. Let's take the uh, sternum or breastbone, which protects the heart. <clears throat> so in essence, they are put there for a purpose. Some bones are more flexible than others, as you know. Uh, some bones are very rigid, others are not. You have the very long bone of the femur, called the femur which is the, that long bone in the leg and it fits into a, a joint called the acetabulum at the hip joint. Now we talk about muscles and they are contractile uh, fibers that allow movement of bones and joints. Let's talk about when a patient has a fracture. Here we are seeing that this Mr. M has sustained a fracture of the neck of the femur. And you can have different types. You can have the actual shaft being fractured, but in this case it's the neck that's fractured. An open reduction, you've heard it I'm sure, O-R-I-F. Open reduction, internal fixation is being done in the OR. And this patient will be transferred later on to the orthopedic floor. <coughs> I'm sorry, it was Mrs. M, not Mr. M. Once Mrs. M is on the orthopedic floor, here are some of the considerations. Always remember to follow your MD orders. And with patients who have this problem, it's proper alignment, so you don't wind up having you know, poor body alignment or, or permanent contractures when the healing has taken place. Dress and changes per MD orders. You know you monitor things like your vital signs, dressing for bleeding, and of course pain meds is ordered by the doctor to cough and deep breathe to prevent pneumonia. And they also have those special abductor pillows which the doctor usually orders to keep that leg fully aligned. Now let's talk about the fracture of the actual shaft of the femur as I just mentioned. Fracture of this part of the femur could actually result in massive blood loss and subsequently hypovolemic shock. And one never thinks of it's just a fracture of the femur causing that kind of problem, but there must be a lot going on with the femur because we know that there is bone marrow production. So we can see here that a patient who has had a fracture of the femur internally can have quite a lot of bleeding going on and could wind up having IV, you know, IV, extra IV solutions and blood products also. <clears throat> now I wanted to talk about last but not least bone marrow production. I don't think I mentioned joints very much. We know that the joints unite and which help to create movement and there are quite a number of joints in the human body. Some examples are the ball and socket joint like the ones at the hip which I mentioned earlier on and synovial fluid of course which lubricates the joints is a clear sort of viscous type of fluid. Okay, let's move on to bone marrow production. Red blood cells are produced in the bone marrow. There are two types of bone marrow. There's the red and the yellow. The yellow one stores fat. And there are times when patients have problems with things like anemias. You can, uh, they actually do bone marrow studies, biopsies, to find out what exactly is the cause of the problem. I'm going to drift a little bit from that topic of bones, joints, and muscles and talk about pernicious anemia. And I, I just did this as an extra. It's just intrinsic factor is produced in the stomach and that protein that is found to be absent is that type of anemia. Vitamin B12 shots are usually given. You can just take a look at the page of this topic is on and that will help you to put the pieces of the puzzle together. Hope you've benefited from this. Have a nice day.